I am a professional. Oh, she's a she's that kind of professional. I just got it. Uh huh. What exactly does that mean? Uh, she is an accountant. Yeah. Shh. And hello. Welcome back, everybody. We just finished day one investigation. And now we're doing trial former. Hmm. That's a little different than... Hmm. What does that mean? 23rd, 9.34. We're here 30 minutes early. What is going on in the former? How did the investigation go yesterday, Mr. Wright? Frankly, there are so a lot of gray areas. Or rather, the whole thing is one big gray area. Don't worry about me, no matter what the outcome. I'm ready to accept my fate. I believe in you, sis. Mr. Wright, let me offer you a word of advice. Yes? The defense attorney should never believe their client. <gasps> The defendant is called to the trial because they are suspected of wrongdoing. Never forget that. Miss Sky, you, you remind me a lot of Mia. But there is one decisive difference between you and her. I think I know what that might be. And that is... She's got huge tracks of land! You're not a defense attorney. Sure, that's the reason why. I believe it's almost time for the trial. Good luck, Mr. Wright. My first trial without a Fay helping me. No one's going to bail me out this time. Oh, hey, Mia. We saw you. I'll be alone in there. So I have to discover the truth all by myself. Let's do it, Mr. Wright. I'll be with you the whole way. Twenty-third, ten a.m. Courtroom number nine. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution has been ready for a while, Your Honor. <gasps> oh, he doesn't care. Now we're back to our old shenanigans. Oh boy. Edgeworth. It's been two months, but I haven't been in a courtroom since his trial. I hope that personal feelings will not be a part of the proceedings today, Mr. Wright. I will choose the path I think is right, regardless of what those around me might say. The judgment to be made here is in our hands, not those of anyone else. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. Chief Prosecutor Lana Skye has committed an unpardonable crime. Not only this, but she was rash enough to commit it in the prosecutor's office lot. Wow, he's much more forceful in person. I suddenly feel like confessing to everything. However, she will now pay for her rashness with her life. <laughs> what do you mean by that, dude? Are you gonna kill her? There was a witness to her crime. A professional witness. <gasps> a professional witness? You can be one of those? <gasps> Sign me up. Well then, call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution calls its first witness, Miss Angel Starr, to the stand. The cough up queen? She's the new Lana, though. Hmm, have I seen you somewhere? Ah, you ordered the caviar lunch, right? Oh ho, caviar! I've never eaten caviar before. The judge is really wolfing it down. And for you, I have a fiesta bowl. It does sound pretty good, though. Uh, thanks. Will the witness state her name and profession? 
Ah, and you, sir? Did you order the fingerprint lunchbox? It is too early for lunch. Your name and profession, please. Well, Your Honor, how does it taste? So this is why everyone raves about caviar. It's so tasty it hurts. I always thought caviar would taste like pickled tapioca. What the heck does tip pickled tapioca taste like? Name, profession, now. <gasps> She's sus. Me? The name is Angel Saw. Don't f go forgetting it. I find myself running Lunchland these days. Is that what you wanted me to say, Mr. Edgeworth? Very well, witness. Please describe the incident to us. Prosecution will wait. I'm not finished eating. <gasps> Hurry it up. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth. As you know, we usually call on the police to provide a description of the crime. Your Honor, as Mr. Edgeworth has said to the court, I am a professional. Oh, she's a... She's that kind of professional. I just got it. I'm naive. Uh, huh. What exactly does that mean? Uh, she is an accountant. Yeah. Until two years ago, Miss Angel Starr was a special investigator with the police. She was a first-rate homicide detective. Oh. Did you get fired? What happened? What? Miss Starr was a detective? Aha! Uh -huh. I know who you are. Cough up. Cough up Queen Angel Starr, Your Honor. Long time, no see. Very well, you may continue with the description, Miss Star. Just who is this lady? If I might have the court's attention over here. The parking lot at the prosecutor's office is divided into two blocks. A block is for the prosecutor's office personnel. B block is for visitors and clients. A chain divider separates the two blocks. I suppose that's to keep I suppose that's to keep visitors from taking out the prosecutor spaces. The crime took place by a car in the back of A block. In the car's trunk, the killer stabbed the victim with this knife and went to drive the body out. Unfortunately for her, there was a witness, and an arrest was made on the spot. And who was this valiant witness? Why, it was me, Your Honor. <sighs> Parking lot floor plans. Yeah, that'll be important. Witness, did you see the very moment of the crime? Of course, Your Honor. I immediately after that, I apprehended the chief prosecutor. Hmm, it seems rather cut and dry, doesn't it? Well, Mr. Wright? Uh, I can't agree on principle, Your Honor. It seems that some poor losers are unwilling to accept the truth, Your Honor. Shall I proceed to crush what little hope they have remaining? If you can, then give them your worst, Miss Star. Wait, are they talking about me? The witness testimony. Here we go. Somehow, I always knew a day like this would come. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. When I sensed something, perhaps it was my finely honed detective intuitions at work. Through the wire fence, I saw the chief prosecutor standing next to a garish car. The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Then she thrust the pointy tip to the knife into the detective Goodman's chest. 
Hmm, bringing a lunchbox to your boyfriend. How touching. Hmm, as you can see, there is no room for doubt. The key point of your testimony seems to be nothing other than the point of the knife which you saw being stabbed into Detective Goodman. So, how does it feel to be so utterly crushed? I... I'm still thinking about that. It, it's merely a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. Flesh wound, you say? Just a flesh wound. What are you gonna do, bleed on me? I'm invincible! You're a loony. It's just a flesh wound. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Cross-examination. I'm going to press everything. How did you know? I respect the prosecutor's basic abhorrence of crime. Yet their methods are ugly and twisted. Twisted methods will always lead to tragedy. The lunch lady's uniformed opinion, un uninformed opinion, is duly noted. Hi, kitty. Are you up here hanging out with me? Given that they are used to erasing inconvenient evidence at their whim. Killing off a detective that knew too much is merely an extension of thought. Miss Starr, do you have something personal against prosecutors? I felt that I had found my dream job and I became an investigator. And if I hadn't been laid off by those prosecutors over there, I'd still be one. <laughs> laid off? She was fired? To me, prosecutors are nothing more than worms. Angel here is given a testimony. That said, I am a pro, as you know. My testimony is unbiased and flawless. I don't know about that, because if she has a gripe against prosecutors, and both of the people involved, victim and suspect, are both prosecutors, then, like, yeah, that's kind of sus, isn't it? Very well. You may continue, Miss Star. Huge! Tracks the land? Yeah, a little bit, Digital Smith. <laughs> Motive. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. She has still hasn't told us who this was. This boyfriend, he's the detective? Not that boyfriend, the security guard. Oh, that boyfriend? You have several? Yes, this boyfriend, that boyfriend, and the other boyfriend. Care to join? The yet another boyfriend position is still open for applicants. I'll stick with the lunches, thanks. <laughs> Note to self, the judge had to think before reapplying. Oh, was he thinking about it? So she's got three boyfriends, at least. She's a professional something, I could tell you that much. Note to self, the judge had to think before reapplying. The security guard room is in, in in the lot, in A block. It's up on the second level, so you can see everything from there. That would be the room with security sign. Incidentally, did you bring your lunches by car? Since I'm a visitor now, I parked in B block. So, she was in B-block when she witnessed the crime? When I sent something... No shaming her. It is an ancient profession. When I sent something, perhaps it was my finely honed detective's intuition at work. You sent something? Like, like Spider-Man? So you're saying you had a premonition of the murder? I felt like... How would you say? Like I was the one holding the knife and stabbing the prosecutor detective. Oh yes. It was like the feeling you get when you view a pumpkin chock full of seeds. 
I have no idea what that means. Speaking of detective's intuition, wasn't the victim, Mr. Bruce Goodman, also a detective? Well, yes. He was like a young cheese. A uh, young cheese? A pale, white cheese. Not yet tangy with experience on the streets, a greenhorn. Hmm. Then it, then it must be hard, hard yellow, then sharp as a tack. Wait, how does that song go? She's wearing the spaghetti who cuts through red tape. The fingernails that are sharp like justice. I want a girl with a short skirt and a long jacket. He's hard. Yeah, I don't know. Sir? Uh, phrasing? I must be hard yellowed and sharp as a tack. Yeah, with the odor of an old cheese to match. In any case, there in the lot, I felt something stirring in the back of my mind. Through the wire fence, I saw the chief prosecutor standing next to a garish car. My garish car, you mean? Mr. Edgeworth's car, yes. Mr. Edgeworth's? Incidentally, the knife with which the victim was stabbed was also Mr. Edgeworth's, wasn't it? Indeed, it was. Hmm, what an odd case this is. And the person you saw, you are sure it was the defendant? I saw her from no further than 30 feet away. I am certain it was her. If she's telling the truth, we're doomed. Let's just do what we can. Even if we don't have any proof, we can always nitpick. Witness, in your testimony, you clearly stated the following. Prosecutors are nothing more than worms. Ergo, you are a biased witness. Exactly. You might want to keep those silly opinions to yourself in the future, rookie. Huh? Rookie? Unless you're willing to risk the consequences of doubting me. I'll fry you like a fritter. Crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. That was inspiring. I'm hungry, thank you. I believe I've heard that tagline elsewhere. You could cry plagiarism? I may be relegated to the lowly po post of lunch lady, but my instincts are honed. A photograph? You took this? The moment I witnessed the crime, my reflexes took over and snap. I took a picture. In fact, one of my lunchboxes is rigged with a camera. Why? Why though? I suppose it's more exciting than just hanging it around your neck. Witness, why am I only seeing this photograph just now? You think I'd show it to you, a prosecutor? Think again. My boyfriend works in the photography division of criminal affairs. Well, this is most certainly the defendant. Yeah, it certainly looks like it, doesn't it? So this was after the murder, you say? Crime photo added to the court record. The moment of the crime is photographed by Angel Star. But where is the body, right? We should see a body, shouldn't we? That is unmistakably Lana Sky. So what was the defendant doing at the time? The chief prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Wait, was she though? I don't see it. It looks like she's wearing gloves too. But she's not wearing a knife. She's not holding a knife in this picture. It's like, why does why does one of her lunchboxes have a camera? Does that seem odd to you? Like, what what do you mean by that? Security room, telephone, Edgeworth's car. Wait, so if something happened in front of the telephone or security room, 
Was she in the security room? Like, where exactly was she standing? She was on the other side. The thing is, right? So if the security room is over there, and she was dropping off lunch boxes, is there a wall covering the entire... How is she getting to her boyfriend then? If there's like a if there's like a fence or something covering the entire front of the room like that? Last call made to her sister at 8 518 on the day of the murder. In her right hand, you say. Tell me more about the knife that the suspect was carrying. Well, I'd say the blade was about four inches long. Is that right, Mr. Edgeworth? It is your knife, after all. Er, yes, that's about right. Prosecutors are, by nature, well-versed in the location of a man's vital organs. Why? I'm sure it was easier than boiling an egg from my egg salad surprise set. You can't testify as to her ability to kill an egg. I mean, a person. Hmm, perhaps a chicken salad set would have been a better metaphor. So the defendant was holding a knife, what then? Then she thrust the pointy tip of the knife into Detective Goodman's chest. Tell the court why you didn't try to stop this crime. You did see her raise the knife to strike, no? Hmm. The defense has a point. Unfortunately, by the time I realized what was going on, it was already too late. Too late. Yes, the next moment, the chief prosecutor brought down the murder weapon. But she had no motive to commit this crime either. I see. It's only a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. We can make it. You said that before. Anything else? Scientifically speaking, Miss Star's testimony is flawless. Sounds pretty fatal to me. What do we do now? Is this it? Is my sister guilty? Let's just keep our heads cool and press the witness a bit, shall we? For some reason, having her panicking next to me makes me calmer. Don't smile like that. So the thing is, like, if the car was parked at 5.12, the murder happened at 5.15, where the hell did Edgeworth go? Did he completely leave the room in three minutes? Did he leave his trunk open? But, it, but there was also a note that it looked like someone was trying to pry the trunk open as well. We analyze this photo a little bit. So she was wearing gloves. There is blood on the jacket. Was she wearing the jacket? Photographed by Angel Star. So now we're at the stage where we're trying to present some evidence. So we can press a bit more, I guess. This boyfriend, he's the detective? Not that boyfriend, the security guard boyfriend. She has several boyfriends, apparently. Security guard room is in A block. Up on the second level, so you can see everything from there. That would be the room with the security sign. Did you bring your lunch boxes by car? So I'm a visitor now. I parked in B block. So she was in B block when she witnessed the crime. Apparently so. They're within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. Let's check something. February 21st, between 4 and 5.30 p.m. Cause a dead blood loss from chest wound. How long does it take to die from one single stab wound? How long does it take to bleed out to death? Caused by a single knife, a single stab wound was found. 4.5 inch knife. Does that half an inch make a big difference? Chief Prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. I don't see her holding it right here, though. Holding a knife in her right hand. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to present 
this because she's not currently holding a knife in this picture. And the music went silent, so I know I'm on the right track. And you witnessed this? You saw Miss Sky stab the victim with the knife. As I've already said, yes. I swear it on my finest salmon swirl lunch. Hmm, I'm sure that is a fine lunch. But isn't that odd? Look at this photograph. Look at this graph! This is the photograph you took of the very moment of the crime, is it not? Then why is Miss Sky not holding a knife? Ahem. Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Objection. <laughs> that had to be the weakest objection ever, Edgeworth. <clears throat> objection. 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 Are we getting some uh, Phoenix Wright ASMR today? Is that what's happening? That'd be the weakest objection ever. Yet it was still stronger than your ever feeble mind, Mr. Wright. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? This photograph was not taken the moment before the stabbing. This was taken the moment after the stabbing. Objection. And how can you tell that? Blood splatter. Huh? See the dark crimson stains on the chief prosecutor's coat? But it's a black and white photograph. Ah, yes, it's hard to tell, but this could be blood. Yes? Well, Mr. Wright, I see no problem here. After I defended him in court, he's still going to prosecute against me and be an asshole about it? I saved your butt, dude. Look at this graph. No problem. Except you. Mr. Wright, are you going to just sit there and take that kind of abuse? Ugh. You got a better idea? Uh, objection. Wait, that contradicts what the witness said in her testimony. Namely, that she took the picture the moment she witnessed the crime. Well, it seems I was slightly unclear. My apologies. That's it. If you run out of lunch, you order seconds. Problem solved. If you don't like it, try ordering the jumbo-sized lunch from the get-go. Good advice. I'm not sure I understand it, but good advice. I didn't have time to stop her. Prosecutor Sky was cold, calculating, like a robot. So this is probably a nitpick, but wasn't her hair parted on the other side? Stop me if I'm wrong about this, but wasn't your mole on the other side? I have a mole? And she killed without pain or remorse. It was a premeditated murder. Premeditated? How do you know? Look at the chief prosecutor's hands in that photograph. Well, are those gloves? Surgical gloves, made of thin rubber, most likely. Why would she have those on? Uh. If it was not premeditated, she would not be wearing those gloves. Makes sense. These gloves do seem to tell a tale of premeditation. Premeditated murder? A serious offense. Witness, add this to your testimony. The murder was planned. The rubber gloves prove it. Hey, this is Editing Cat speaking. I got pretty stuck on this line of questioning, so I decided to do a lot of thinking out loud and trying to link every piece of evidence to all of the different questions here. So if you just want to skip to the evidence that actually does work, go to this timestamp right here. Okay, bye! 
What if she was just in the habit of wearing gloves? Like driving gloves. The gloves were admitted as evidence when the defendant was arrested. They were rubber gloves, the kind of the kind used for autopsies. In other words, when the chief prosecutor came to the crime scene, she came to do murder. It's the only possible conclusion one can make. Everything was planned. It was a premeditated crime. Impressive. I'm sorry they took you off the force, Miss Star. This is bad. She's got them thinking it was all planned. If she can prove this claim, the trial's already over. I've got to think of a way to show this wasn't premeditated. It's only a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. We can make it. You said that before. Oh, you're panicking next to me. Makes me calmer. Don't smile like that. She always knew it, this day would come. How would you know? Yeah, the thing is right. If there was one single stab wound, an hour and a half of 4 p.m., how long did it take for the victim to bleed out to death? Do they have info on that? Wound was caused by a 4.5 inch knife. A single stab wound was found. Not sure how helpful this is going to be right about now. What if I were to call this right now? There's no need to push this again. What's wrong? You look like I do during finals. Never mind, it's nothing. What's nothing? I'm just going over my evidence. I'm trying to see what I can present here to make it look like it wasn't premeditated. Is it something on her phone, perhaps? I did mention that the phone wasn't working. So where did she park in, in, in the B block? After the crime was committed. The murder was planned. The rubber gloves prove it. Usually in Edgeworth's toolbox. Does she- like, who took this from Edgeworth's toolbox? Like, Edgeworth, did you have this knife with you? I feel like I should be presenting this, though. Hi! Are you hanging out with me again? Should I present this? Not right now, but at some point. So what does the 12 2 mean? Is that a date? 6 7 S 12 slash 2. You should present the kitty. The kitty was the murderer. The kitty wouldn't care. Yeah, cats kill for fun. They love killing. <gasps> cats love to kill for fun. Yes, they do. You're so cute. 5 18 on the day of the murder. So if this was taken after, then she made a phone call. After the murder. There's three minutes in between. Finally honed detective's intuition at work. I'm trying to go over this evidence. I don't want to be wrong. Like, I, it won't be like a huge penalty if I get it wrong, but I don't want to be wrong. Wait, so how does someone actually get to the security room then? Should I present this? This doesn't feel right, but it's like... This isn't- this isn't gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. Objection overruled. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. That didn't go so well. Objection overruled! How does one wear a buck list? That is a good question. Never mind, I'm sure I don't want to know. I don't want to know either, Jardis. All right, so this is the evidence we have. We have evidence. We're trying to basically prove that this wasn't premeditated. Somehow I always knew a day like this would come. Is that why you had the camera with you? Last call made to her sister Emma at 5.19 on the day of the murder. Wait, so why did, why did she call her sister? I thought they weren't getting along. Is that why you took a photo? Because you knew that this was gonna happen at some point? What kind of lunch that- maybe I should press again. Maybe pressing will give me some clues. Oh, 
I like the feeling you get when you view a pumpkin chock full of seeds. Detective's intuition. It was like a young cheese. Perhaps it was my family hunt detectives, uh, something, something. How did you know? I respect the prosecutor's biggest abhorrence of crime. Twisted methods will always lead to tragedy. The lunch lady's uninformed opinion is duly noted. Given that they already used her erasing inconvenient evidence at their whim, killing off detective that knew too much is merely an extension of that. Miss Star, do you have something personal against prosecutors? I thought that I had found my dream job and I became an investigator. If I hadn't been laid off by those prosecutors over there, I'd still be one. Laid off. She was fired. To me, prosecutors are nothing but worms. That said, I am a pro. As you know, my testimony is unbiased and flawless. I feel like the beginning of the trial when I have all this evidence, and I'm not sure how everything links together. Enter lot at 5.12 p.m. So then at 5.15, the murder was happening. One knife wound died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. But why is there such a range? If the murder happened, the rubber gloves prove it. What if she was just in the habit of wearing gloves? I already pressed this, but maybe there's some no new information that I didn't spot. So it's not going to let me move on until I present the right evidence at the right time. The thing is right. She always knew the day like this would come. Is it because she had a camera in one of her lunchboxes so she could catch someone in the crime? An Edgeworth toolbox. Okay, so Edgeworth... Why are you being the- why are the prosecutor here? Because it's like, it's your car and your knife. Are you not a suspect at all in this crime? Usually an Edgeworth toolbox. Because if- if I don't present the right evidence, it's just gonna be like, nope, that's wrong. Chief prosecutor standing next to a garish car. So I was thinking like, is this- a, this is a uh, Edgeworth's knife, right? See nothing faulty. Penalize me. That's fair. Must be on the wrong track, apparently. Cause like eventually I'm gonna get the right thing. It's just not clicking. Cause I like I said, I don't want to do the wrong thing, but so far nothing is super clicking. I'm like, yes, we have to pre present this right here. It's like, should I press everything again? Like this isn't gonna work either. There's no way. Through the wire fence. I mean, I can try presenting it, but I don't think this is going to work either. Like, I'll just take the L. Who cares? That didn't win any points at all. I think the fence is the dotted line. It is. So I'm, so I'm trying to piece things together as well. Parking stub. I don't think that comes into play just yet. This has nothing to do with anything either. I mean, I'm probably gonna just straight up lose right here. But I have to be like, okay, so... Yeah. I might be a little bit lost right now. But now you get to see what it looks like um, when I lose all my points. That's enough. This court sees no reason to further prolong the trial. The defense has failed to give the court sufficient reason to doubt the prosecution's claim. This court finds the defendant, Miss Lana Sky, guilty. The accused will surrender to the court immediately. Be held pending trial at a higher court within a month from today's date. That is all. This court is adjourned. What does she have? What What is she holding? in her hand, by the way. That's what I'm curious about. 
So we're just going to go back to the beginning of this line of questioning before I've lost any points. Yeah, so we're back to right here. It's the same exact spot. So I have to present the right evidence for the right line of questions. So I think what I might do is um, just go ahead and press everything again. 6 to 7 S 12 2. Because I don't even know what the hell this means. Maybe we're not supposed to know what it means yet. We need to present our badge. Clearly, that's what needs to happen. Record of parking in the prosecutor's office lot entered at 512. So the thing is, maybe. So if Edgeworth's car was parked three minutes before the crime took place, did Edgeworth actually leave the parking garage? Would he still be in the parking lot? Also, the security guard probably would have seen something, right? So maybe we need to present this. I can just tell when it's not the right evidence. <laughs> See, the first thing that I presented in the previous line of questioning, I got it right away. But now I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> Am I gonna try literally every piece of evidence on every statement until I get it right? Because I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to guess like that. It's not... <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. What? One of the barrels was knocked over. What? Wasn't it? One of the barrels was knocked over. No, I didn't do that. Fuck. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't actually mean to do that. That doesn't count. Shouldn't you have your own parking stub, ma'am? This game doesn't make any sense. I think maybe I need to present this as like one of the earlier statements. Because they certainly would have seen someone else, right? Because we have a parking stub of Edgeworth parking. But what about anybody else? Like, does no one else have a parking stub? She, but she got rid of her statement regarding the knife, though, didn't she? She replaced her knife statement with this. A murder weapon, usually in Edgeworth's toolbox. It's like, yo, Edgeworth, did you take the, the knife out at some point? Objection. There we go. Edgeworth, it's your knife, right? Witness, do you know what this is? Are you trying to test me? I sell lunches for a living, you know? That's a knife. THE knife. The knife that was in Mr. Edgeworth's trunk. How would you know that? Indeed, it is my knife. What's with this case? The bloody murder weapon, a red car, all belonging to the prosecutor there. The defendant is the chief prosecutor for this district, right? Marmy, are prosecutors bad people? Oh, these are the, um... <laughs> these are the other people in the courtroom. The defense has a request. We ask that the witness provide an accurate testimony. What's that, rookie? In your testimony, you stated that Lana Skye planned this murder. Mummy. Mummy? Sorry. And that's why she was wearing those special gloves. Seems like a natural conclusion to me. The gloves do indicate planning. However... Why would you not also prepare the most important thing, the murder weapon? Hmm. Oh. The knife just happened to be in the trunk of that car. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to plan a murder, you don't forget the weapon. Whoa! Order, order, order. Great, now the tide is turning in our favor, finally. Great show, Mr. Wright. My sister's as good as free. Right. I believe the next lunch you'll be eating is humble pie. What? I hope you weren't deluding yourself into thinking that the tide has turned. Not over such a trifling detail. But this shoots a hole in the whole premeditated theory. Bah. The prosecution could care less if it was premeditated or not. 
The only one who seems to care is that lunch lady over there. The defendant, Lana Sky, murdered a detective with a knife. That is the only thing the prosecution need prove, nothing else. Better than pickle rice, feels weird, man. Very good, Mr. Prosecutor. I suppose you think you're clever now. But you know as well as I do that she planned on killing him. It was planned. If it wasn't, why would she have been wearing... I believe I'd like to hear your testimony again. Witness, please tell us only what you saw, not what you thought. How dare you! My powers of deduction are not to be underestimated. Really now? Angel's deduction. I think we'll have to read about this in 90 seconds or so because we're about to have an ad break.